Honestly, drawing UI Bezier paths isn't that tricky, but we have to deal with subclassing UI views and coordinate spaces, which can be a little bit annoying. But apart from that, drawing, as you'll see, not too tricky. So I'm just going to run you through a few ways of drawing a straight line on the screen. You can see them in this app. There's draw line in rec, draw in CA shape layer, and draw in CG context. So let's just walk through them. Draw line in rect is overriding the draw function. So you only usually want to override the draw function when you're actually doing something because there's a performance penalty in just overriding the function. But this enables me to draw a UI Bezier path and kind of just draw directly in it. So it seems quite simple when I'm using a subclass of UI view. There's an alternative. Instead of overriding draw, which of course for each new subclass is going to run that function, I can create my own function. And it's pretty much the same, but I'm drawing to a CA shape layer rather than drawing straight to that background. So here I'm calling the draw line function, whether I'm working programmatically or through the storyboard, and then I'm adding that layer to the layer of this subclass. Not a big difference, I would say, but obviously here you could use some interesting properties to change it depending on where you're using the subclass. There's a third option, CG context. So this is using the current graphics context, and here I'm setting the stroke color and line width on that context. And then I'm creating a CG mutable path, and then adding that path to the context. There's not too much difference in the outcome. They look exactly the same. But again, with this CG context kind of solution, we're using an overridden draw. And I think you have to look at these different options and see which really suits your case, how you're architecting your app and the outcome you want to have before you pick which solution. So drawing an arc is pretty much the same as drawing a line. However, we need to remember which coordinate space we're in. We need to remember to use radians as well. And there's some links to this in the description, but for each of these views, the coordinates origin starts in the top left-hand corner and this start and end angle is radians. And here I've just converted degrees to radians because at times I find degrees easier to work in. So I hope this video has been of use to you. There's no guarantee that you'll need UI Bezier Path now or in the future. And certainly for a video of this quality, I wouldn't like and subscribe it for any reason at all. Anyway, thank you.